This is a story called The Little Monster, chapter 165. The little kids find a litter of abandoned kittens and their mum. The little kids are all out playing on their local park when Elsie sees something move in a box and she says to the others, Hey guys, I've just seen something move in that box. What box, Elsie? asked Freddy. That box there, Freddy, answered Elsie. Oh yeah, I can see it now. Let's go and see what the box, what? Let's go and see what it is, said Freddy. They all went over to the box and when they looked inside there was a litter of abandoned kittens and their mum, who was severely malnourished. The kittens were just no newborns and they were desperately trying to feed off their mum, but she had no milk due to her extremely poor condition. What are we going to do with them? We can't leave them here, said Mary Ann. Well, my house is the nearest. I think we should take them there, said Ellie. They took the cat and her kittens back to Ellie's house. When they got there, Ellie's mum said, What have you got there, Ellie? Some tiny kittens and their mum. We found them on the park. The kittens were trying to feed off their mum, but I don't think she has any milk for them, answered Ellie. Ellie's mummy looked in the box and said, Oh my God, you're right. She doesn't have any milk because she's starving to death. I think the best thing to do is feed her and call the RSPCA. Ellie's mummy rang the RSPCA and within half an hour they arrived. They took one look at the cat and her babies and one of them said to Jane, You did the right thing by calling us. We'll take them to see the vet and get them checked over and we can find homes for them. We can bring them back here to you and you can find homes for them. If it's okay, I'd like to find homes for them, said Jane. That's fine, but you'll need to hand raise the babies because their mum's too weak to be able to feed them herself, said the RSPCA inspector. The RSPCA took the kittens and their mum to be checked over by a vet. Thankfully, they were all given a clean bill of health. The mum just needed food so that she could produce milk for her babies. She was microchipped and the RSPCA were able to trace her owner. Unfortunately, when they went to the address, there was no one home. When the inspectors looked through the window, the place was filthy. There were cats and kittens everywhere, and they were all malnourished. Mal they were all malnourished. Then one of them went round the back, and when she looked through the wind, the back window, there were cages upon cages of puppies and dogs that were filthy. They contacted the police so that all the animals could be removed immediately. The police arrived within minutes and the RSPCA were able to rescue all the animals. Once the animals were removed safely, the RSPCA took them all back to the animal shelter. However, over the next few days, the police kept an eye on the house. And when the occupants came back, they were arrested. In court, they pleaded not guilty, despite all the evidence against them. Their case went to trial and they were all found guilty and sent to jail for six years each. The mother cat and her kittens thrived in their new home with Kicker and family for the first two weeks until their mum was able to feed them the kittens were hard, hand reared. All the other animals that were re that were taken away were cleaned up and nursed back to health. One day, Elsie asked, Mummy, can we keep all the kittens and can we get a puppy, please? No, Elsie, we can keep Mum and two kittens, but the rest of the kittens all have new homes to go to. 
you have a dog, so I'm afraid it's no to the puppy, said Elsie's mummy. What the kids didn't realise is that their parents had arranged with the RSPCA for them to go in and choose a puppy. Once the kittens were old enough, they, they all went to new, their new homes. All the animals that were rescued from the house were also found new homes. However, some of them were so sick that they couldn't be saved and had to be put to sleep. It was the kindest thing to do for them. One day when the little kids were playing on the park, some of the kids came over and one of them said, Ellie, is it true that you have some kittens? Yeah, we do. Why? Well, my parents said I can have one, said Carla. Oh, I'm sorry, but they've all got homes already, said Ellie. Okay, said Carla. You can all play with us if you want to, said Ellie. We'd like that. Thank you, Ellie. By the way, is the swing still in the same place, said Carla. Yeah, why? said Ellie. Can we go can we go there and play? asked Carla. Yeah, of course, but you don't need our permission to play on it, because it's for everyone, said Ellie. That weekend all the little kids were taken to the Irish PCA to choose a puppy. They were all really excited and they couldn't wait to get there and take their new puppies home to their forever homes. End of chapter 165 Hope you like it guys. Remember, if you're watching on YouTube, please feel free to like, share, comment and subscribe. If you're watching on Facebook, please feel free to like, share, comment and to go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. See you later. Bye.